Hey everybody, we're back in the garage with my Viver 5K diesel heater. Uh, if you've seen the previous video, you'll know what this is all about. If not, go watch my previous video part uh, four of this series on the Viver diesel heater. It's hooked up to two Ryobi batteries run through a 24 to, 18 to 12 volt converter. Uh, it's all wired up on the inside. The, each are switched, the batteries are switched individually so I can swap them out one at a time while it's running without having to shut it down. Um, I'm going to try it out today on two 4 amp hour batteries. I'm going to fill the tank full of kerosene. I'm going to see how long the batteries last and then I'm going to see how long a tank of kerosene will last. We're going to run it on full heat the whole time. Just going balls out and see how long it lasts. That's the plan. First things we're going to do, pull out of this off. If I mention how much I hate these clips, let's pull that off. It's a minor complaint. I mean, the heater is great. We just want to make sure our connections are all good before I seal it back up. Put a battery on there. Switch this one. Yeah, we've got power. Shut that off. Okay, let's try this side. Just want to make sure everything's good before I. And we've got power there. Okay, these are six amp hours. Uh, we're going to be filling it with some number one kerosene here. It's just Woods brand clear kerosene, 1K, 3.78 liters. I don't know how much this tank holds, but we're going to find out. Holy cannoli. One of the things I like to do with these containers is cut off that safety stop first thing. It annoys me a great deal. Cut that right off there, right off there, boom. I'll turn that, see if we can do it without spilling. Well, it took the entire tank and it's not quite full, so I'm going to guess it's a 4 liter tank. That would be my guess, given as this is 3.78 liters. And that's not quite full. It's probably about as full as I'd want it, though. Set that aside. And cover back on. Put the lid back on. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Back on. Wipe it down a bit first. Get rid of any excess kerosene that we spilled here. And, and that's probably especially important if you're going to be running it inside. Because these heaters can be left running inside or outside. If you run them inside, you pipe the exhaust to the outside. If you're running them outside, you pipe the heat to the inside. Either way works, apparently. Stick that on there. Stick that on there. Always have trouble with these clips, I tell you. There we go. 
All right. She's in. She's tightened. Let's give her another ch battery test first. Check that side. We have power. All right, we've got power out of both. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, four amp hour batteries, put them both on. I'm going to set this upside, start it up, let it run, periodically check on it, and we'll see what's what. Um, I got to wait for the four hours to finish charging. We'll get this set upside, set up outside, and give her a run. So see you in a minute. All right, got it all the batteries charged. There we go. So I've got four four amp hour batteries and two six amp hours. I'm not going to run this thing all night, so I'm just going to try the two four amp hours. I can't let it run right down. If I let it go until it completely dies, then the heater is going to overheat because I don't know if it'll fire back up. The fan will fire right back up once it shuts off from lack of power, and I'm not going to chance it. So I'm going to let them get down to one bar, and then I'm going to swap batteries out, let them go one bar, and see how long that takes. You get what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm dropping? Okay, so let's load in the first set of batteries. What? They're good. They're, all the batteries are freshly charged, four bars. And then, keep checking out on the screen. Power from that one. 12 volts out of that one. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this, set it up, so set it up outside on my back deck, because um, I don't want to run this in the garage with the exhaust poisoning, and set it on five, which is probably the highest I'll ever set it. It goes up to six. I doubt I'll ever set it on six. Um, so I'm, five is what I'll consider full blast. I'm going to run it on five, see how long it takes to run me down to one bar, swap out the batteries run it down another bar, and that should tell me full battery life. Close. You know what I'm saying? So that'll get me to where I want to go. Actually, I really do only need to know till it gets down to four, because that's the lowest I'll ever let it go before swapping it. So, okay, I'm going to take this outside, set it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like out there, and then we'll, we'll let it run, and I'll set a timer, check on it, see what's what, and then I'll, we'll come back here, and I'll update you guys as to what happened. All right, here we go. There it is. I got it set up on my deck facing a window inside so I can see it from inside. It's just steaming right now as it starts up. I, I turned it on from inside here. Oh, there we go. The remote. You guys can see that. There you go. So when that temperature starts climbing, that means it's lit. I did it from in here with the door shut out this window just to simulate, you know, if I were to turn this on remotely. Let's see, that, that steam should stop in a few minutes or a minute or two. It should stop and then it should light, it should ignite. Steam just stopped, so that shouldn't mean, mean it's lit. I can't even really hear it from here, and here's the distance I am. Garage two, there is probably about 30 feet. Oh, I think I can hear it now. Let's see if the temperature starts to climb on the uh, the old meter here. Remote. 16, 18, yep, she's lit and burning, 20, and I've got it set for, one, let's crank it up to three for now, oh, what the heck, let's just go right up to five.
30 Celsius already. Let's go take a look. Not terribly loud. Low and warm. bars all right there she is running she's going good i'm gonna set the timer i've got the stopwatch going on my phone to time it for the total run time i'm also going to set a timer and check it every half hour and see what the power is at so i'll just leave it here and come back when i have something update all right bit of a change of plans here decided i wanted to put the heat to some use that's my miata out there under the cover pointed the heater blown at the big bank of snow up against it see if we can melt some of that away let's let's bring spring a little early uh, I checked it's been running for a little over 10 minutes now and it not even one bar of battery gone yet thankfully I mean that's that's to be expected so we'll see how this does see if how much snow it melts may as well put some of that heat to use um, I checked it what's it at now hold on Focus. There we go. 124 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that minus 30 is. I have no idea. It's not minus 30 outside. It's like minus eight or something. Feels warmer in the sun, but yeah, it's like minus eight. So anyway, that's it. I'll update you guys soon. Let you know as soon as I'm, come on, focus. There we go. Alrighty. See, it's already melting some of the snow there. All right, it's been an hour. It says it's 120 degrees Celsius blowing out of there. Let's go check it out. See how many battery bars we burned. chilly out there sun's going down anyway we've dropped one bar on each battery and yeah we're at 120 she's blowing out 11 volts running volts that's what it's it's always at no matter what battery i use heat setting five so there is one more heat setting six that's the hottest but i'm not I want to test her on five because I think that's generally what I will use it on. Come on, let's go back to temperature. There we go. 120. All right. So I'm going to check it again in a half hour. We'll see where we're at then. All right. See you in a half hour. All right. So I got it back in the house. Let it run. I'll post the time up at the end of the video. Show you how long it ran for. Almost three hours. Really close. Steve Robb, you, you were pretty bang on with what you were guessing. What is this? My up clamp. Yeah, shut that off. Awesome amp clamp. I'll post a link to it at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, so on two four amp hour batteries, I got pretty close to three hours, just, just short of three hours. So that's not bad. That's running on level five. It goes up to six and down to one, of course. Um, so I'm saying three hours with two four amp hour batteries. If you're using this, my purpose is I was thinking a van, small trailer, a camper, a truck cap, something like that. From what I've heard on its lowest level, it will, will keep it heated running intermittently. So I'm sure you could probably get through a weekend on two four amp hour batteries with this for two six amp hour batteries for sure. Um, and if not, you need more heat than, you know, say you got a slightly larger trailer or a larger motorhome or something you're using it for or a small cabin. You could certainly, you know, like I said, 
swap out the batteries every time one that was the whole purpose behind having two is you can swap out one when it starts to get say they drop down to one bar take one out swap it put it in keep it running take the other out put a new in you get it so that was my plan um and it works as for how much fuel it burnt i'm kind of curious about that i don't think it's much so we'll see how much it burns in about three hours on level five five of six not a lot, I can tell you that. So there we go. So it wasn't even quite full. Can you guys see the level? Oh yeah, you guys can see that. So it's right there. I should have taken a felt pen and marked it. We've lost about half an inch, I'm gonna say. About half an inch of fuel. So maybe, I don't know, an eighth of a tank we lost. We burnt maybe an eighth of a tank. So do with that what you will, an eighth of a tank in three hours. So that's not bad. You could go quite a while. I did run into an issue that I'm going to have to address. When I was swapping out the batteries, this side, something that stopped providing power. I don't know where the short, oh, never mind. I was going to say, I don't know where the short is, but yes, I do. Yeah, that's, that's an easy fix. Um, this was just a temporary thing anyway. I'm going to pull all the wires, solder them, heat shrink everything, make it all clean. Just make everything neater. It's already pretty neat, but I'd like it a little neater. I'm going to put some uh, edging on here. There's sharp edges where the hoses go through and wires go through. Nothing rubs because there's no real moving parts other than the pump, but the pump does vibrate a little bit and the hose does move a little bit when it's on. So I'm thinking I'll put some edging on there just to keep the, the hose from rubbing through possible fuel spill in the future, you know, running down onto wires, all, it's just a bad scene. You don't want that. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. That's about it. Clean up the wiring, put that sheathing on that I have, wire sheathing, clean up, solder everything, heat shrink, put some edging around here. Um, I might clean up some of the, there's some screws that protrude here. Uh, there's holding on the, uh, the control panel mount on the front for this thing. The mount are just two screws that are screwed into the sheet metal. And though they don't rub the tank, they come awfully close to it. So I'm going to do something with those, cap them off or grind them smoothish, something. But other than that, there's not much. Everything worked perfectly. It ran as expected. No problems, no hiccups, nothing. It's great. I'd recommend it. Would I recommend the, the battery setup? If you want a portable one, camping, tent camping, this thing would be the cat's ass if you went tent camping. You know, ice fishing shacks, that type of thing, ice fishing tents, be superb. Bring it inside, run the exhaust outside the tent, and you're, instead of heating the cold air outside, you're recirculating the inside air. It's already somewhat heated. This was getting up to about 124 degrees Celsius, blowing out here. Um, it gets up to 200 when it's, I've had it up to 200 in the garage. So running already warmed air, it, it puts out quite a bit more. So anyway, that's it. So I'll put the runtime here at the uh, right now. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, everybody.